Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today is March the 17th, and this is day 16 of our 40 days of prayer and fasting. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Our focus on the first 10 days of our prayer and fasting was on our personal lives. We prayed that we would realize our identity in Christ. We prayed for our personal and family needs. We prayed for fellowship with the Holy Spirit and the production of the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. We prayed for boldness and faith, for an increase in love. We prayed for hope. We prayed for perseverance through difficulty and joy in the Holy Spirit. Then after we went through 10 days of, of praying and fasting for our individuals and families, then we shifted to praying specifically for the church, for the Church Universal and for Zion Hope Church. We prayed that we would be devoted to prayer, that we would cling to our first love for discipleship of all ages. We prayed for the vulnerable and the marginalized and individuals and families within our church. Now today, on day 16 of our fast, we're trusting in Christ grows his church. We're praying because trust in Christ, that's what grows his church. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, it says, and I tell that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. We want to pray that the church will trust Jesus to grow his church in his way and in his power. Now, when Peter made this great profession of faith, thou art the Christ, son of the living God, when he made that confession, that was the foundation of the church. The word church means to call out. It's a gathering or an assembly. And it's different than a secular gathering. And it's different from that which people just come together. It's God who calls together and gathers his church. His church is the body of people called out from the world. And so we want to make sure as we pray that we pray that God, it is his church, Jesus Christ is the head, that he is in the midst of everything that we do within the church. God dwells within the very presence of the believers, those who confess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And he dwells in the very presence of the church when we gather together. So we want to pray that the church will trust Jesus to grow the church in his own way and in his own power. We have to realize that this is Jesus Christ's church, not man's church. It is his church. So we want him to direct his church. Jesus says, I will build. Christ builds the church. He may use individuals to help in the process, but it is Jesus who builds the church and the gates of hell will not prevail. Why? Because it is Jesus who protects the church. It's Jesus who protects the church. Jesus build us, strengthen us, grow our faith. We realize that this is your church. You created us. We are yours. Use this church as you will not as we will. Do what only you can do, Jesus. We claim this promise. The forces of hell will not overcome your church. We stand in faith, covered in your armor and armed with your word.
You are the source of life and you are the source of strength. We find our sure footing, our security and victory and all in you being the all powerful supreme king of kings and you are the Lord of lords. You are Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We know that the gates of hell will not prevail. Right now we pray for every ministry. We pray for the Agape single ministry that you will that you will build up a singles ministry within the church that can help singles people to be able to deal with the pains and pressures of life of being single. We pray for our audio ministry, for the bread of life ministry, for our Canaan married couples ministry. We pray for our Christian education ministry that we might be able to teach and preach your word and that we might be able to explain your word, rightly dividing the word of truth so that people People's lives can be changed, souls can be saved, and relationships can be restored. We pray for our college ministry that those college students will be able to have a relationship with you and that you will strengthen our college ministry. We pray for the congregational care ministry for our Connection Point ministry. We pray for our deacons who are serving the church, who are serving you, and who are serving others. We pray for our finance ministry. We pray for our facility ministry. We pray for our fine arts ministry. We pray for our Generations of Grace dance ministry. We pray for our greeters, for our healing and, and grief loss ministry. We pray for our health and wellness ministry. We pray for the men of valor. We pray for the women of virtue. We pray for our missionary ministry. We pray for the music ministry. We pray, Lord, for, for the nursery that we know you're going to give birth to. We pray for our power in prayer ministry and our prison ministry. Lord, we pray for the security ministry and the shepherd's care ministry. We pray for our social media ministry. We pray for the stitches of praise. We pray for our teenagers. We pray for our ushers. We pray for our video ministry. We pray for our youth ministry. And we pray for our young adults. Lord, we pray that you will grow our ministries. We pray that we will grow spiritually. We pray that we will grow in our knowledge of the word. We pray that we will grow in our relationship with you. And as we get stronger and that foundation is set, we pray that you will give growth as you see fit. Lord, we pray for every church that is open in your name. We pray that you will strengthen every pastor, every minister, every deacon, every servant leader, every member in their family. We pray, Lord, that you will grow them. We pray that they will become stronger and wiser and better because their relationship with you will continue to get stronger. Lord, we thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. We thank you for the remission of sins that was shed on blood that was shed on Calvary's mountain for the remission of our sins. We, we thank you for that. We thank you for the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit that indwells within us, that gives us the power to do the work that you have for your church to do. We know that the gates of hell will not prevail. And so we stand in faith, covered in your armor, knowing that you are the source and you are the strength of our life. We claim victory now in the name of Jesus. We love you, we adore you, we praise you, and we magnify your holy name. It's in Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's call or prayer call. We thank you for uh, participating in our 40 days of prayer and in our fasting, and we pray that you continue to grow in your relationship with God. Hope that you're able to tune in once again tomorrow. May God bless you. May God keep you. May heaven smile upon you. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.